much for tuning back into my channel this is part two of my wash day routine and what i'm going to be doing today is showing you how to get your life honey actually no but i'm going to be showing you how to get a silk press a professional salon looking silk press at home so if you're interested in this video go ahead and stay tuned all right guys so i'm going to start by going ahead and blow drying my hair um what i usually do is just blow dry it up until it's about 20 percent dry then i go in with my with my wig brush and i make it a little more straighter y'all so this is my hair blown out with the wig brush now we're about to go ahead and get into this silk press are you ready you got your utensils so what i'm going to use for my silk press as you guys know is good old faith Remy here here hopefully you guys can see it it's Moroccan and Argan oil, silky serum. You just only need a handful of this good stuff. So, this is about how much I use. That is literally it. Go ahead and distribute it all over the hair. A little bit goes a long way use a lot of this stuff if you want to get hair it's going to be weighed down and it is going to be heavy I promise you a little bit goes a long way no more than a dime size you ready <coughs> that didn't work Hold on, wait. now go in with my flat irons don't come for them I've had these babies for 10 years yes they get the job done they do it well if it's not broke don't fix it I like to keep my ten my temperature between 350 and 400. Key to getting key to getting a good suit press is blow drying. Make sure you blow dry your hair as straight as you can get it without applying too much heat. Okay, guys. So there is two methods that you can use to straighten your hair. Okay guys, so right here I'm showing you that you can either use the comb chase method or the brush chase method. I'm going to show you both ways. Um, I can do it with the comb and I can do it with the brush, but I absolutely love doing it with the brush because I just seem to have so much control. Okay guys, so I have straightened the back and the sides so that I can speed this video up a little bit more. I have the top to go. I'm still using the breast, I mean the breast, <laughs> the brush chase method. Um, that's the easiest method for me on my own hair. I love it, it never fails me. You guys should try it. If you're having a hard time with the comb chase method, the brush method is so good. It gives you so much control. You don't have to worry about it. Like y'all just brush through, place the brush under, take my flat iron, and chase the brush down. And then I can come back up. Usually can do a little faster than that, but I come back up and then I go one more pass through 
and I try to focus more on my ends. Yes. I'm sorry if y'all hear my kids. They are not cooperating. My son on this game, he's yelling. Really, nigga? You can already. You can already see that movement. Come on, y'all. We ain't coming to play, y'all. We about to get this silk press down packed, honey. This quarantine, we got to learn how to do our hair. Ain't it? Yes. We are finished, y'all. Look at that body. Your hair should not be stiff, especially if you're trying to do a silk press. Okay, y'all, so. Yeah. All I used was some serum. It doesn't have to be this Remy Hair Care Serum. It can be any type of serum. You just have to make sure you shampoo your hair good, get all of the product out, condition it, blow dry it, well blow dry well i'm quite sure this method will, will work for natural hair my daughter's transitioning she hasn't had a relaxer over a year and it works for her so i know it will work for um natural hair as well but as far as my relaxed hair this is all that i put on my hair before i straighten it that is it i just put a dime size amount and i straighten it i blow it out really well and i straighten it really well this brush is key like flat iron your hair, flat iron one side without it, and then do the other side with it. <laughs> girl. 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 See, it would change your life. Well, let me stop acting goofy. Seriously, guys. <clears throat> this is what it looks like. It's full of body. Oh, which way you want it, huh? You want it this way? That way? Full. So I'm going to figure out how I'm going to part it. I think last time for you guys, I did a, I did a middle part that was on my relaxer day um, video. If you have not seen that, go check it out. Um, my relaxer day video, I did a middle part. I think I'm probably going to go with the side today, a side part. Um, Lord, my hair is so used to being in the middle. It's trying to go back to the middle, but. I'm going to go ahead and in clip, input some clips for y'all to just see this body, honey. Nobody wants stiff hair. Now, if you deep conditioning and you just going to rock that thing in a ponytail like I do for work, that's different. But if you're doing the silk press, honey, it needs to be moving, okay? Okay guys, so I decided to go with the side part. I usually do not wear my hair in the side part. I usually just bust it straight down the middle and wear a middle part. But today I just wanted to switch it up and just do something a little bit different. And I'm kind of feeling it, but of course your girl after the video switched it to a middle part. But get into these results, y'all. Now y'all know I love to film a good back shot. Just look at this body. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. It's all about the body when doing a silk press. I just want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to part two of my video. I want to thank y'all so much for subscribing. Your girl is almost at 1K subscribers. Once I get to 1K, I'm going to do an amazing giveaway. So please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below the video that you would like to see next. And I will go ahead and try to do it for you. Until next time, guys, be blessed.